bring a design in or to select a different design, it's all an embroidery call. You can either go to an EMB call or you can do an FDD call. FDD is what brings it over from the disk. It's going to tell me there's no disk. On the FDD call. And this emulator, this it's going to go faster, probably, won't it? Uh, yes. Okay. Here's tells you that, and then it brings the list up. <laughs> There's a lot on that disk. <laughs> it has to build the directory first. So this will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters that it'll do for, or eight. If you go more than eight, then it just does the arrow and then one. Uh, this will tell you the design name. Uh, you go in and select it, just you know, up and down, choose which one you want. Choose number two, and hit set, and it asks you what slot you want to put it in. You can change it if you want. Um, usually goes to the very next one available. Yeah, it's showing me the ones that are available have them all loaded up to 37. So you're going to put it in 38, it's set. Gives you a percentage and loads the design. Percentage of the design is loaded. Mm -hmm. Well, it's loading. Now it's going to build that directory again. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So. What about, you know much about software? Uh, which, the, the digitizing well, they were software? trying to talk to us about software for this stuff, yeah. For the IDS software? The software that the company sells? Or? Yeah. It's pretty good. Is it? It's good stuff. They were telling me that sometimes it's easier, easier for us to, to digitize than it is say that. Okay. When you back out, it automatically loads that design, the last one that you loaded from the disk. So it's asking you basic setting and needle setting. It's just a kind of a quick shortcut that mm -hmm. it brings up. Uh, if you don't want to change any of that, then you just hit previous and then it'll start out the design. Uh, the basic setting, X scale and Y scale, I was saying you can change the size of the design, but it stretches the stitches or shrinks the stitches. So. 10% either way is what we recommend. Uh, angle here is where you turn it to 180 if you're going to flip it around on a cap. You can go anywhere between 0 and 359. Uh, don't, you can mirror if you want, and then don't worry about these two. What are those two? The start stitch, it, you can tell it to start from a different stitch okay. than what you wanted, but it erases those stitches and then starts a new center point in the design, so it really, oh, yeah. it'll really mess you up if you start like that. Okay, needle setting is where you go in and change the color changes. You know, step one, step two, step three, step four. Program them in until you're done and hit set. You're down here on this menu now. You can either go to delete, insert, end when you're done, hit set. Previous, load the design in. Previous again to get out of that menu. Right now we're loading on that design. See, it tells you the, the number in the slot. It's number 38. That's where we loaded it. This is how many stitches, how many colors it has, and how many jumps it does. Uh, the mirror is off. There's no X scale and Y scale are at 100. Use this and scroll with it. Uh, over here, again, it'll tell you design number 38 and how many stitches. Stitch info, this will give you a progress. 0%, zero, zero out of that many stitches. Work info, it'll tell you how fast you're going. It's set for 700 right now. Um, this gives you the sequence of the colors that we had programmed. And it tells you how many works you've done on the machine. Um, needle info, there's 10 on this design. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Um, so once you've uh, either turned it around if you want to, and then you've programmed your needles, uh, to trace it, you go into sub work and design trace. Hit set. I always recommend moving down to needle one. When you do a trace. Uh, on the blank, on the uh, home screen. This is the home screen. Just hit the button. Okay. Anytime it stops or anything like that, all you gotta do is hit a button for whatever needle you want to go to. So yeah, move to needle one, and then sub work, design trace. Now oh, you're watching this one. Make some box around it. Plenty of room, so you're good to go. Just hit start. <laughs> now, after that gets a pull, you have to delete them out of there? Mm -hmm. How do you delete them out of there? The embroidery call. Design delete. Now, will Five. that delete all of them, or do you have a... Memory initial. Okay. That deletes all. all of them and nothing. It clears it all out. Or you can delete it one by one. Um, you can load it, you know, external output. Just you'll choose the design that's on the machine already, and you can output it back to the disk. Um, the only thing is, it's not a DST anymore; it's a DSB, so you can't change it at all. You can just load it to another machine and use it. And, like I said, import an EMB call, and then another EMB call is where they all are. Slot number and stitches. Um, or manual trim button there and ask you to hit the run switch after that. Uh, needle if you needed to change your sequence. Like I said, it, sometimes it brings that up as a shortcut once you first select a design. Or if you're in the middle of a design and you want to cancel it, you want to stop and cancel it. Stop and cancel in the middle of the design? Mm -hmm. Hold set. If you're already in it. And then it'll it'll clear it and bring it back as if you were on stitch zero. And then if you want to move back to your origin, you just hit origin. ORG. <laughs> or if you want to just delete it out, it just deletes it out. Right. Right, yeah. If you're, if you're already started and you want to stop, hold set and it'll beep, 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 beep. Come back. Because it won't let you do really a whole lot if it, you're in the middle of it. So, uh, repeat. Tell it how many times to repeat the X direction, how many times to repeat the Y direction. Uh, and then you tell it it'll ask you X ink and Y ink. You're going to tell it how far it is from center of design to center of design. So tell it how, you know, how far to gap it out. And then, so usually that's the length of design plus a little bit if you want it to be a, you know, a part. And once you've started, and you have to start the design first, um, float. You can go ahead by stitches. It's like uh, 1, 100, 1,000, 10,000. You can go back and forth. Or you can do by color changes. And I believe there's one where you can tell it exactly which stitch to go to as well. Okay. There's a couple different options there, but it's that frame. There's another one that this has to be going. Um, once it brings up, you'll have uh, design origin or data origin. Okay, uh, data origin. Say you stopped in the middle of the design, it allows you to move the frame wherever you want it. So you, maybe if you're doing an applique or something, you know you have room to work with it, and then you do a frame and data origin, it brings it right back to where it stopped. So you can start, you can start again. Because otherwise, you lose your registration.
you know, uh, if you stop for a fret, fret break and you got to back up more, it should be the same, you know, back up stitch by stitch with the stop yeah. button. Same deal. Uh, e for the moving this. I, go. So what's the, um, you got M setting and you got FDD. What were those buttons? So it says SWF, underneath it says M setting. There you go. Yeah, more for technicians okay. testing the equipment and stuff. Yeah, yeah. error list, system info. So what's FDD, the one next to it? Uh, this is what you can do. You can format the disk, delete it all, or you can save. FDD save is bringing design off the machine and back on here. That's another way to do that. Uh, but to load designs, you don't go to FDD, you go to rotary call and then FDD call. So it can be a little confusing there. What's the edit button for? Uh, you can change a little bit about it. Uh, you can do by, you can add trends or jumps to a certain, you know, if you know which stitch number it's going to be on, but Probably yeah, that it's button. not something that is easy to use or you know if you're gonna change something about design you do it on the software yeah pretty much hit it all did you yeah yeah that's okay. it's all an experience you go to 